Um, it's Tina from Ideas and Embellishment, and I just wanted to hop on and um, on on my on my channel and show you something that I recently did. I had I have I have one of those jobs where I have a lot of downtime, and so I wanted to be able to take some of my journaling stuff with me. Um, and I looked at a bunch of different videos about people who had them. A lot of people use the little, this little medium pouch thing, but that wasn't something that, uh, I didn't think it would work for me because I, I wanted more, more. I wanted more. I don't know why I wanted more, but I wanted more. But anyway, this is what I came up with. And I think, I don't know. I just wanted to see what you guys think. So I made a book <laughs> and I call it my traveling junk journal supplies. And it's just an old, it was a mm, dictionary of some some kind. Um, anyway, uh, and, you know, it's kind of big, so I closed it. Anyway, so um, on this, on the when you open it on this side, and I'm going to show you, this actually came, I don't know if you can see it or not, this part actually came from uh, Nick the Booksmith in her lap, bo lap book, the first lip, lap book that she did. And I really liked it, so I thought I would cor incorporate it into my traveling junk journal. So I have pockets here on the front and my scissors actually fit. Um, I, have, I have to tell you guys, I, I, I made one and then I ripped things out of it and then I started things again and it's just like so. Anyway, so the scissors fit really well in there. And then I have like different things that I can, can you know, cards and stuff that I can play with. Um, so that. And then over here, oh, you can see that. Over here is another, is an envelope, and I can put, like, um, cards that, that I want to work with and a little place for a tiny little ruler. Um, over here, I have this, that, and the other. I don't know. So this is where I put, like, um, you know, I'm working on, I have this little tiny little little journal thing that I bought um, that I collage in sometimes, so... I was like, I can take some of those pages with me and maybe do some of that. Um, so I put those in there. And then uh, some Rolodex cards, some of that I've copied, coffee dyes, I have those in there. Um, and then, so, and that shuts, shuts like this, so it's there. Um, and then on this side, um, I have, I made it so that this was elastic so I could take um, paper and put it in there. Uh, and I have like cardstock in here, and um, and I have like some book pages to play with, and some more cardstock. And then I was like, how do I take like my ephemera, like butterflies and birds and all that kind of stuff? So I <laughs> Ziploc bags, okay. And what I did was I sewed the Ziploc bags. Right now I have them. Um, oh yeah, that's gonna come off, right? Yeah. Um, Right, I sewed them, I sewed two together so that they could go underneath here. And I can put like, I have um, some Tracy labels and some scrapbook paper and some sentiments and some little baby scraps and some butterflies and birds. So I can put them all in there and then I can actually take this out. Um, just right now I have them because they slip out. They do slip out. Um, I also have some, um, jelly paper and so I mean I can take these actually take them out of the book when I'm playing at work so during my downtime I don't do it when I have other stuff to do so and that comes out also um, put these little just I sewed these little pieces of elastic onto cardstock and I put them on the spine because I had room um, because sometimes I like to put gold embellishments and I just wanted to do that here is a place and this actually uh, will fit the large glue stick and I put that in there um, and it's got velcro or if I want to take one of my smaller ones which I haven't really then this will go all the way so I have two things of velcro there in case I want to take a glue stick um, and then I found this box um, I, I, I made and actually made a, a book box that I thought I made this and I thought this would be perfect to put stuff in. I just gutted this box and put some, um, cardboard around it. Um, but then it was, 
just too big. Just too big. It was too big. It was too big. So I didn't, I was like, I'm not using that. It's too big. So I found this. It's a plant therapy box. Um, and it's got, it was for essential oils. I found this at the thrift store. Um, it did not have um, the, it did not have the, the hinges or the closure on it. So I went to Hobby Lobby and I got one of the little cheap boxes there that were really inexpensive. And I took the hardware off of that and put it on here so that I would be able to close it. And what I did was um, inside I have a place for my water brush because I like to do watercolors. Here is a little tiny little, um, I use, it was a, it used to be a, a thing for jewelry and it's got some gesso in it and I just velcroed that to the bottom. I got these little distress inks and I can, I can switch them out, you know, whichever ones I want. Um, right now I have over here is, these are, there's Velcro over there and these I can use to um, ink things. Um, I also have this little tin box of watercolors um, and these are all, um, these are all the metallics but I can take them out and change them for different ones. And I do have um, others, I have others that I can swap out. Um, I have some paint brushes and a pencil. I have this pen, which I, I don't really like it, so I'm not gonna use that anymore. I really like this pen, so I'm gonna put that in there. I also have a bone folder. And so, all of this and a little eraser, like I said. And um, so anyway, this is, kind of what it is and it all just folds up and um, I can take it and I can close it up. Um, I was also thinking that what I might be able to do in these is maybe take a piece of acetate and I can actually take some stamps with me, I think. And I think I might do that. So like I said, it's evolving. It, it, it kind of grows <laughs> and changes. So anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. And um, I don't know, let me, think, let me know what you think and if this is something that you think is, 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 is a good idea or if you think I'm insane, uh, which could be either really. So anyway, thanks for watching, bye.